flex training. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley Lane and we have a really fun video today. No, it's fun for you, <laughs> not fun for me. So I wanted, I was like, oh, you know what would be a really fun video to film if we like show all the random things we bought in isolation or, you know, locked down to like entertain us and whatever. Um, and then we went through all the stuff Connor had bought and I was like, I think that's a whole video in its own. So today we are just going through all the random things Connor bought in isolation and trust me, there are some really, really good ones. I'm gonna bring the table over. Yeah, maybe bring, the, we've just got them over there. Okay, what do you want to start with? Take your pick. I will up. Do that one because it's right there. I'll pick the one Take that your pick. <laughs> Get it? That's a good pun. Pick the one that I like the most. I oh, know we saw we were watching White Collar, which is a show on Netflix. It's all about um, an FBI, FBI agent catches a, a condom, and I was watching it. Well, we watched we watched the whole series, um, and yeah, he's just going around lock picking things like it's absolutely nothing. I thought it can't. How hard is that to actually do to actually lock pick something? So I went and brought myself a lock pick set. Are you gonna do it? And some locks. Well, you can. It turns out so, Riley's actually better than me. So look. Where's the thing? Okay. Oh no, this is it. Yeah. So look. I don't think you can see that. So as you can see, it's a see-through lock that we started off with, so you can actually learn and practice. So you can see, understand how, you know, the inner workings of it work. Uh, and then yeah, Let we me started go. practicing. Riley can give it a go on that one. Kind of angry because he got this for his fun toy, and then I ended up being way better than him. That was really quick. <laughs> that was really quick. This is actually super, so surprisingly easy to um, pick locks. Uh, yeah, and then we decided to get <laughs> keep getting more, more. Probably the most bought thing was locks, so that we and could lock pick them. Uh, we've picked every single one so far. Um, mm -hmm. The only ones we Except haven't. For that one. Oh yeah. New one. We haven't picked this one yet. This is really seems to be a lot harder for some other reason, and we can't really work that one out. Um, but I'm, I'm useless, at, as you're about to see in this video, I'm pretty much useless when it comes to buying things on Amazon. And I don't, I, normally I do it after I've had a drink as well. And Loves <laughs> a drunk Amazon buyer. I was trying to buy a load more locks and everything and I saw this one and it was, only, it was for £3. It was like meant to be a hard one to use. So I thought, oh, I'll definitely get that. And it turned up and it came in this package about this big. That's how big the... the it's, it's tiny! Not, it's not even an actual lock, it's absolutely terrible. It's like something you'd use in school to lock your locker. Yeah, so... But the teachers would come along with the I'm, big things because you'd lose your key. I mean, my picks won't even go through it. But no, that's probably been the most fun one, and that's my, my new hobby. Um, it's a skill you can always have, which is quite good. Uh, it's just annoying that Riley's a lot better at it than me. Alright, next up. So this was a fun one. Uh, we were reading into... We were reading into like um, like CB CBD. We were reading into CBD oil, um, and we really wanted to get some, see what it was like um, for like being able to go to sleep and stuff like that. So again, I looked up for the strongest one that you could get on Amazon. It was a thousand milligrams. Brought it, um, and then we started to read through it a little bit more, uh, and it turns out this one that I brought um, in my spare at the moment is not CBD oil. It is. <laughs> Hemp oil. It's just hemp oil and it has like does completely different things. It's like for it's, your skin. And, like, it's and just for your so hair. It's good for your thing. hair. So <laughs> that's absolutely useless for me. Um, but yeah, that was about 40 odd quid yeah, for something that's some more no use. On that one. No use for me. Next up, it's all like um, a read, no, wait. a um what's it called? Like a fitness subscription box thing on Instagram. Is it on Instagram as well? Um, and yes. or something like that uh, advertisement and he thought like oh yeah that'd be really cool like each month they deliver you a box with like a few like things to try like a pre-workout a little bar sometimes there's a drink and then a piece of like fitness equipment so we got the first box and we were like looking at it we're like oh cool resistance bands like that's really good we don't we don't actually have any resistance bands like that one so, so <laughs> it comes like this so it came with all these different like all different colours and attachments and it was we just had one attached to it at the time and then when I was reading through it it was saying like up to X amount of pounds or X I amount of yeah, kilos, it was like 15 whatever, kilos like, or something. yeah 15 kilos one. and I was like 
Right, okay, so obviously the black one is going to be the strongest. Yeah, so I thought, okay, well this one would be like the medium one. I was like, there is no way that that is 15 <laughs> kilos. Um, we, we, we're all sitting there like trying it. Not, like, no way, but, like, the whole, this isn't going to do anything. But like my whole family looking at her, I was like, well, what, what is the point of that? Like, that's, that's not 15 kilos. <laughs> It wasn't until like after a week we put it aside and didn't really bother with it too like, much. Oh, rubbish. I, I saw rubbish. A, rid of that. I saw another, the Instagram advert again. You meant to put them all on. Yeah, you put multiple <laughs> ones and it makes it stronger, not just one. <laughs> but, but it wasn't just, the thing is, it wasn't just me. Or it was, yeah, like, it was everyone. It was, it was, it was, it was like, just everyone in my family. Just, your mom. We were just like, that can't be right. <laughs> not a single one of us thought to do this, which then it actually makes, makes it, it a hard. lot harder. Um, that was a fun one. But now we actually use these quite a lot. They're actually really useful. Um, loads, of, loads of places you can do it. So we do it over in the park or over a tree or door yeah, frame. Yeah, feet and stuff like that. Feet. Very, very useful for during lockdown um, once we actually figured out how to use it properly. This, this is probably my, my, I haven't even used this. This is your worst buy. Yeah, so far. Uh, I started getting into like playing games on my phone during lockdown. And I thought, all right, I saw this. It's a controller that you put your phone into. And then you get a Bluetooth, and then you Bluetooth to it. It works like that. Um, but the games that I play, it's really just, it's, it's rubbish on. Absolutely rubbish. So I spent uh, another 25 quid on this, and I can't even use it. But it looks pretty cool. It makes it look like a bit like a PSP, so... If I can find some games where it actually works on properly, then yeah, I might use it, but... I think with the latest update as well to the uh, to what I find, it doesn't even work. So... That was fun. Uh. Next, I, I, I recently quit smoking, uh, and obviously one one of the things that you have to do when you quit smoking is keep your hands busy. Um, so when I brought all these different like grip strength training tools and whatnot, uh, these have probably been quite useful. Yeah. Uh, and I've realised as well as my cravings have sort of gone down. I'm not using it as much. I don't need to get it's my fun hands to as like, busy. Um, just sit there in a meeting, like especially if it's a meeting, it's not really that. It's pretty dry. You just sit there like squeezing things, playing with them. They're fun. Yeah, so there's loads like, of different vibe. ones. Yeah, that's half decent. I think that's quite good. It's got even got a little counter so you can keep your reps going on there. Yeah. Uh, but I've used it so well during lockdown, I can do fingertip press ups and I could probably hang from the door frames now. Oh, I, could, I, I, I could be a professional rock climber <laughs> now. I've just been doing that. God, actually, that's a bit hard. I got slated. <laughs> Absolutely slated. Wait, with that? Time. Why? Because you were just like, why have you bought a square water bottle? And to us, everyone looked at it and was like, that's so stupid. But everyone moans that my bag is always too big, mainly because I carried all her stuff, our housemate stuff, everyone's stuff. So I thought, if I get a nice square water bottle that could fit nicely into my bag, easy. Um, but yeah, I really like this. Uh, but it's every, too small though. But every, yeah, to be honest, I drink this in like one gulp. Ever since you ripped into me about it, I haven't, I, I haven't used it since, so that can be thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've left the best till last. No, we've got two more. Oh, we've got a, that. Uh, do you we're going to have to pick up the camera, I think. Take it. We'll take it over there. What do you want to do? Do this one. All right. Let's do a now we're so going to have to go um, a bit more vlog style and pick up the camera. This is honestly, I, I don't even know. I have no words for this. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. That's all you do, you just punch the random ball that hangs off your head. <laughs> reflex training. <laughs> yeah, but you look like an idiot. Nearly knocked over me bonzo. <laughs> Is that a nice segue into the next one? So, Connor's next purchase. Well, I've got a few things over here. First of all, it's got a new bonsai. Tell us about your bonsai. So it's a Chinese elm. I've wanted one for ages, but I've never been in one place long enough to be able to look after it. So I bought an eight, I think it's an eight year old, an eight year old Chinese elm. I still don't know what I'm doing with it. <laughs> I brought, I brought my clipping scissors. I brought me- Give it a little trim. My fertilizer, oh, I doesn't need a trim. Oh, okay, don't then. <laughs> um, and at the moment, I'm just trying to keep it alive. Uh, <laughs> and um, show you what it's what it's sitting on. Oh, and then, okay, so just come over here. So I had this. Oh, this thing. Which is what it was on. All right. And I was starting to get told off that I 
was taken away. Well, that, that goes next to the couch, so that is where you put your drink if you're sitting there on the couch. And I got told off that I wasn't letting anyone else use it. My bonsai was taking, taking precedence over everyone else's plants in the house. And so to shut everyone up, I brought this plant rack, which is actually sick. It is really I cool. Know, what people say, it looks awesome. <laughs> and we're still trying to fill it up with all the plants, but I think it looks half decent. Yeah. Especially as now we've got our housemate, Emma, who's um, a complete plant, plant freak. Is that the word, Em? The age is there. Uh, but yeah, she's a, a plant mama. Um, a majority of these are hers. As you can see, the one that's looking a little bit sad, this is what oh. it is. It's not sad, it just needs to be repotted. That's my plan. It's been held up with a paintbrush. Yeah, because the roots have overgrown the pot. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the final and probably best. Okay. We've got to clear the, clear the space. I don't even know why I brought this now. Explain what it is. I, I can't even get back far enough to get it in the frame. It looks like a medieval torture device. Yes, it um, does. I think I just wanted to get more flexible and I'd seen this before. And I was like, well, I really want one. Show us how I, I get suckered in by sales adverts. I say a salesman is the easiest person to sell to. But it's a strip, it's a leg stretcher. I'm really sore at the moment. And you're about to see how poor my splits are. <laughs> and then, yeah, you just put it. That's close. literally all it does. Yeah. That was That's like, it. That's 50 quid I've ever spent. Was that 50 quid? <laughs> no, I don't think it was that much. It was, it was much really? <laughs> For three pieces of metal. Yeah, but look at it. It's got two holes. <laughs> Multiple holes. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just sit here like this. But I house my Emma, obviously, she's like a proper pom dancer, Julie, and she can get her legs like nearly horizontal. And there's me sitting there going, <coughs> oh, I've got a cold walk after I've done it as well. Really painful. But that, I actually really like this one. I just don't, <laughs> don't ever use it. Ever. <laughs> The wall's not going to stay. All right, well, that is all of the random non-needed things that Connor has for in isolation. So I really hope you enjoyed that video because it's good life for us. So thank you so much for watching and we'll speak to you next time. Bye. Cheers. Oh. <laughs>